Well, hey everybody, welcome to day 44 of the Lent Project. Today is Thursday, March 28th, and we're just a few short days away from Easter. Um, I hope for you, like uh, like myself, that this has increased your sense of anticipation uh, as we look forward to um, celebrating this day as believers. Um, this is the second we're going to take um, a minute to pray, or a few seconds to pray, but um just want us to ask for guidance and for inspiration um, as we read through what to me is a really, really important scripture today. Um, and we're just going to ask God specifically for inspiration, that he will breathe his spirit into these words and that they won't be something that we've heard and read multiple times before, but that something really, really new and fresh will jump out uh, to us and will be incredibly meaningful today. So... Uh, in just a second, hit your pause button and take a few seconds to ask for that, and then we will move forward. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Isaiah 53, 6. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 102, 1 and 2. Hear my prayer, Lord. Let my cry for help come to you. Do not hide your face from me when I am in distress. Turn your ear to me when I call. Answer me quickly. Okay, now let's read in John 17. After Jesus said this, he looked toward heaven and prayed, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you. For you granted him authority over all people that he might give eternal life to all those you have given him. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I have brought you glory on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. And then Jesus prays for his disciples. I have revealed you to those whom you gave me out of the world. They were yours, you gave them to me, and they have obeyed your word. Now they know that everything you have given me comes from you. For I gave them the words you gave me, and they accepted them. They knew with certainty that I came from you, and they believed that you sent me. I prayed for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me. For they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine. And glory has come to me through them. I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them and kept them, kept them safe by that name you gave me. None has been lost except the one doomed to destruction so that the scripture would be fulfilled. I am coming to you now, but I say these things while I am still in the world so that they may have the full measure of my joy within them. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, for they are not of the world any more than I am of the world. My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is the truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For them I sanctify myself, that they too may truly be sanctified. And then Jesus prays for all believers. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us, that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one, I and them and you and me. 
so that they may be bought, brought to complete unity. Then the world will know that you have sent me, and I have loved them even as you have loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory, the glory you have given me because you loved me before the creation of the world. Righteous Father, though the world does not know you, I know you, and they know that you have sent me. I have made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them and that I myself may be in them. There's so much about that that um, I don't even know that I can completely wrap my head around. Um, but it, it occurs to me that um, Jesus, being completely man and completely God, um, didn't have to pray this out loud. Um, he and the Father were one. I feel like he did this for our benefit. And um, you get to see so much of his heart for for himself to be with the Father, for us to be one with the Father as he is one with the Father. And he's praying for something that as as he's praying, he's preparing to go do the thing that will bring all of these prayers to fruition. He's being crucified and he's being raised on the third day. And by that act, we are given unity with the Father. We're reconciled to God again. Um, we're given power in the name of Jesus to keep us from the evil one. Um, but we see so much of his desire for us and not just, um, I think it's so cool that he's praying for his disciples right then and there who are walking with him. But he's also, he knows that this is, these are words that are going to be carried throughout generations. And so he's saying out loud, not just them, but to those people that they will take the message to, that they will also be one with you. Um, so I pray that for myself and for you, that God is breathing these words, um, breathing inspiration into these words and helping them to come to life and that we're seeing um, the magnitude of what Jesus was praying for himself and for us um, in, this, in this passage of Scripture. Almighty Father, whose dear Son, on the night before he suffered, instituted the sacrament of his body and blood, mercifully, mercifully grant that we may receive it thankfully in remembrance of Jesus Christ our Lord, who in these holy mysteries gives us a pledge of eternal life, and who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let's play. Let's pray uh, quietly for just a second. Now I'd love for you to pray the Lord's Prayer with me. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us, not into lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And there's one thought that we can carry throughout the rest of the day with us, and that is this. Father, glorify your Son. Hope you have a great day.